Assalamu alaikum. What is the miraculous about iron in the Quran and science? Allah the Creator and All-Knowing tells us in the Quran, and we sent down iron wherein is great might, strength, and many other benefits for mankind. This short segment from this verse can literally be the subject of an entire book. For the sake of brevity and to be brief, there are four things we will highlight in this short video. First, let's note that when this verse was revealed over 1400 years ago, the only real known benefits of iron were based on its strength, and primarily its use for weapons and armor. The verse, however, made it a point to distinguish between the many benefits of iron for people and those benefits derived from its strength. Strength-based benefits are the first point, and because strength-based benefits such as for military use and in construction are obvious, we will move directly to the stated many other benefits, which is the second point. It was only recently that we have better understood the many critical roles iron plays in our life. It will be impossible in this brief video to name them all, but it will be enough to mention a few in order to point out diverse non-strength-based iron benefits for people. An article in the UCSF Medical Center website titled Hemoglobin and Functions of Iron starts out by saying, iron is an essential element of, for blood production. About 70% of your body's iron is found in the red blood cells of your blood called hemoglobin and in muscle cells called myoglobin. The article then goes on to describe many critical aspects that highlight the very important role of iron in the human body and how important and beneficial it is for mankind. Another article titled Importance of Iron focuses on its role in helping blood transfer oxygen to all parts of the body and also its role in specific processes within the cell that produce energy. The article also said, speaking to women, when you are pregnant, your iron requirements are much greater than at any other stage in your life. In fact, the recommended dietary intake for iron increases by an extra 10 to 20 milligrams a day during pregnancy. One today only needs to Google search the benefits of iron to find over 84 million results on this topic, or search about the role of iron in the environment, where one will get over 92 million results that range from its role in plant life to its role in the oceans, and so on, all of which are important for the well-being of humanity. The third clearly stated thing in the verse was that iron was sent down. Only recently did science discover that indeed iron cannot be made on the earth, and in fact even our sun is not hot enough to make iron. Actually iron was made in great big stars outside of our solar system, after which Allah caused it to be sent down to earth. One scientific article titled What is the Origin of Iron by Mark Chase explains a type of star known as a red giant begins to turn all of its helium into carbon and oxygen atoms. Those atoms then begin to turn into iron atoms, the heaviest type of atom a star can produce. When most of a star's atoms become iron atoms, the star becomes what is known as a supernova. It explodes, showering space with iron, oxygen, and carbon atoms far and wide. In more detail, we know now that the iron we mine, which is part of the Earth's crust, i.e. the outer layer upon which we live, came down and fell upon the earth after enduring the final part of its formation, through meteors, which are iron rocks of various sizes, left over from the explosions of red giant stars, as we mentioned earlier. As for the earth's inner core, it is believed to have formed much earlier, when a huge iron meteor crashed into the early earth before its completion. This was a massive meteor of iron, and over time it settled and formed the Earth's inner core. This Allah sent and caused to form the inner core of our Earth because that is what provides us with a protective cover from solar wind and harmful radiation, which would kill us and destroy life on Earth. Scientists call this the magnetic field, and it is a result of our inner core. Over 1400 years ago, Allah revealed to us in the Quran that our sky is a cover with protective properties. Allah said in the Quran, and we have made the sky a well-protected canopy, yet still they turn away from our signs. The ozone layer is also part of this protection, and it too would be destroyed by solar winds without the magnetic field. The miraculous and impossible so far is for an illiterate Arab to describe in such specific detail what seemed back then counterintuitive 1400 years ago. All anyone knew was that the iron is dug up from the ground, and they only used it for weaponry and making other similar objects. The Qur'an specifically said that actually iron was in fact sent down and it has many other benefits for mankind besides its strength. 
The fourth and far less obvious thing to discuss is the numbers and mathematical miracle of this verse. There are hundreds of points to be made, however today I will be focusing on just one issue and a few of its derivatives. In the Quran, the chapter Iron is number 57 and the verse within it is number 25. However, it is permissible to count the basmala, i.e. saying in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, as number one, which makes this verse number 26. Of relevance to point out is that in the Quran, this chapter, the iron, is the only chapter named after an element. Furthermore, and of perhaps more consequence, is that in Arabic, words have numerical values, which I may discuss in uh, other videos. However, for now, the chapter's name, the iron, has a numerical value of 57, and the word iron has a numerical value of 26. So again, the title of the chapter and the word iron come out as 57 and 26, which indicates that there's something special being pointed out here. Many centuries later, and with advanced scientific methods and technologies, we have been able to discover that this miraculously matches iron, the element. More specifically, it matches iron 57, its atomic number being 26 because it's iron, and its 57 nucleons, 26 protons and 31 neutrons. While this is clear for experts, some may look at the periodic table and notice that iron with its 26 atomic number has a mass of 55.846. So does this mean our numbers do not match? Not at all, because in real life there is no such thing as an atom having 55.845 or 46 protons and neutrons. A thing is either fully a proton or a neutron or not. This number, 55.84 and so on, is simply based on a mathematical formula and not the exact numbers. This is done because we actually have four stable types of iron isotopes and therefore this is an average. As stated in Encyclopedia Britannica, natural iron is a mixture of four stable isotopes, iron 56, iron 54, iron 57, and iron 58. To that end, the Quran is specifically highlighting iron 57 for reasons we may in the future better understand. In fact, it was iron 57 with which scientists were ever first to able to make their first real measurement of gravitational redshift. It also seems to be more specially related to the magnetic properties of iron. Furthermore, this list of examples for iron isotope applications shows 3 for iron 58, 5 for iron 56, 6 for iron 54, but at least 12 for iron 57, which of course may not be complete but highlights its importance. Of perhaps far more consequences that the Earth, is, as recently discovered, through various tests, has a solid inner core of iron. The significance of this iron core being in the center of the Earth is indirectly highlighted in the Quran. The Quran contains 114 chapters, with the chapter, the iron, being in the exact center, just like the Earth's iron core is in its center. Much more can be said about this and soon I'll be highlighting a few more related issues with regards to Qur'an's miraculous scientific and mathematical correlations. I hope you found this informative and as always, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe and until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.